case against Casey Anthony. Western News has learned that prosecutors want the judge to find out how she's getting the money to pay for her defense team. Meanwhile, the woman who posted intimate videos of Casey and Kaylee Anthony on YouTube talks about why she did it. Her answer is also about money. West Shore reporter Bob Keeling has been breaking new details on this story since day one. And Bob, what is the state trying to do to expose Casey's money trail? Well, in a brand new motion, prosecutors are asking the judge to require Jose Baez to show them any and all records having to do with how Casey is paying for her defense team. They're concerned that any financial misdealings could be a conflict of interest and give Casey grounds for an appeal. I believe I have the photos. Repeatedly, Casey Anthony's lawyer, Jose Baez, has refused to say who is paying for her legal dream team. First of all, I think it's an inappropriate question, and it really doesn't, I don't think it's any concern of anyone who's paying for all of this. But as questions have persisted, Baez told us this about the role he played in building the defense fund. Quote, I have done nothing but conduct myself in a most professional manner. I have done nothing unethical. If Baez has made improper side deals for book or movie rights, a legal expert told us that could be a very big concern to prosecutors. It could give Casey grounds for an appeal. It would be so easy for Miss Anthony to declaim what's called ineffective assistance of counsel. <laughs> Meanwhile, the woman who says she posted on YouTube these intimate videos of Casey and Kaylee says she took them from Casey's own MySpace page in September. On her website, the woman who calls herself Mom Tective says she wanted to make the videos public to prevent them from being sold and the proceeds possibly being funneled into Casey Anthony's defense fund. Early on, it's been widely reported that ABC paid a six-figure licensing fee to Casey Anthony for exclusive access to other home videos of her daughter. And coming up all new at 6 o'clock, you will hear what led prosecutors to file this new motion, again, asking the judge to ask Baez to show him the money. Martha? Bob, thanks. It's another big week in court for the case against Casey. On Thursday, attorneys for Casey and her parents go back to court to argue several motions. The Anthony's attorney is going to ask the judge to keep George's suicide note from being made public. Jose Baez wants access to the personal computer of Casey's former boyfriend, Ricardo Morales. On Friday, Baez is set to depose Richard Kane, the Orange County deputy who may have missed a chance to find Kaylee's remains way back in August. Also, attorneys for Zanata Gonzalez say they're continuing to come through Lee Anthony's deposition to figure out what questions they will try to force him to answer. Anthony's lawyer says one of the questions he will not answer is whether he thinks his sister Casey killed her daughter Kaylee. Attorney Tom Lucas says he thinks it is highly unlikely the judge in Gonzalez's civil suit will require Lee to answer that question. Meantime, Gonzalez's attorney said they do plan to ask a judge to make that call. Gonzalez is suing Casey for defamation.